Okay, now we are cooking with tone. Um, today we're going to learn how to make some barbecue chicken. As you can see, it's frozen because I don't live around, you know, a chicken farm. So we got to get it how we can. We're going to get it frozen. Um, normally what I do is I go ahead and let it boil until it's tender. Um, so that's what we're going to do right now. Put a little bit of water in there you know and um we just go ahead and put it on the stove not too much water but you know just a nice little amount or whatever make sure we cover it um so the steam can can really get inside of it and you know help it to stay tender uh, i don't like when it for some reason it seems like you know when i don't cover it it gets dried out quick and we like to have our meat nice and moist you know really tender so we're going to cover that up real good and um, now to our vegetables. Uh, as you can see, I got the garlic. I like a lot of garlic. Um, I don't think you can ever have too much. It's good for your blood. And so um, I always make sure I use garlic. I got green peppers, uh, red peppers, and I'm using some onion. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put that into the side and um, go ahead and get started dicing the onion. Now, I know a lot of people, when they're cooking, they usually have their uh, their vegetables already diced, but um, at the same time, today, I'm going to go ahead and dice them for you. Uh, you know, why not? I mean, and then, you know, a lot of people, they don't even know how to dice, so <laughs> I'm here to show you that that is all right. So, um, you can dice them up. You can follow my lead. I have no problem dicing, as you can see. But uh, like I said, I like plenty of garlic. You can definitely adjust these ingredients to your preference. Um, it's no set amount of anything. Um, but I'm just basically cooking for me and two others. So this will be enough to make three servings. Um, maybe a little bit more based on how much you eat. But uh, anyway, you know, I'm going to go ahead and dice these garlics. And uh, right now I didn't diced about six cloves. We're going to slide over here to the pan, use a little bit of olive oil. Now with the olive oil, we don't use too much. You know, you just want, you want just enough to kind of cover the bottom of the pan. So not too much. It is good for you. It's good stuff. Um, just enough to cover the pan, move it around and make sure we got enough and uh, put that back there and back to the vegetables okay now I'm slicing the green peppers uh, I wish I would have got the other side but uh, uh, whatever works it works um, like I said um, I wish I would have got the other side so it would be easier to see what I'm doing but I mean dicing isn't really that hard we just chop it straight down the middle um, the long way of course uh, but there's different ways to do it, you know, but uh, I do it the long way and then I turn them to the side and I go ahead and chop them that way. And um, basically everything that I do is in cubes. You're going to see today that when I chop the onions, the garlic and, you know, all of the peppers, even down to the meat, I do everything in cubes. It's all cut in squares. And um, when you dice them, you just take it to a different uh, level. I mean, it's, it's still in squares ultimately, but you're just making it smaller, you know, a lot smaller actually. But um, like I said, the basics is cube shapes. So it's really not hard to cut things in squares. If you can cut them in squares, you'll be perfect, very well off, all right? So, go ahead and get these peppers out of the way. As you can see, it's really just a flow of the wrist. <laughs> and we wipe off that and go ahead and pour them in the pan. Excellent. All right. Now, from this point, I guess, you know, we go ahead over to the onions. Now I'm just going to slice them straight down the center um, instead of, you know, just dicing them. And you know, a lot of people cut the squares in 
from the start um, at the top but I find this way to be a whole lot easier when you just cut it down the middle and um, we're gonna come back to them you'll see how I do it um, do this red pepper real quick do the same thing just cutting it straight down just like I did the green peppers once again remember everything is in cubes everything is in squares turn them to the side like so a little bit of wrist motion <laughs> it's good stuff though it's good stuff alright now once I get to the onions you'll see what I mean when I say uh, it's a lot easier just finish these up real quick okay you see um, well I don't know if this is really a good angle but basically I'm just chopping everything together the onions I find to be a lot easier this way simply because they're already I don't know like a bunch of circles but anyway <laughs> like so that's how it should look let me get the fire started When you saute, you don't want to burn them. <laughs> but, uh, mix, make sure you're mixing them up. You want everything to cook evenly. Don't overcook it, but you don't want it to be hard either. You, you don't want to overcook it, and you don't want it to be undercooked either. Even though with vegetables, it really doesn't matter if it's undercooked simply because, I mean, they're vegetables. You can put them in a salad and eat them raw. But sauteing them you want them to be just right so you always make sure you're mixing them up as the fire is going and then once you're done with that you put them in a pan that you're gonna put everything in together you're gonna later combine all of the ingredients together so I'm gonna need this pan again for the chicken so get them up out of here and once it's all done, and you know we're gonna make sure any excess oil off to the side, you wipe that off and then there you go. We're gonna set that to the side for now. Check on the chicken. Once the chicken is tender, oh, a little bit of steam there but once the chicken is tender and you can poke through it with a knife easily then that's when you know they're done okay so you can go ahead and turn that off pour the, we'll take it out the water of course you want to wait until it cools off before you actually start to cut them okay but still hot I'm gonna take them out. Whoa, that was real tender. <laughs> Almost got away from me for a minute. Alright. One more. Okay. Now, like I said, you wait till they cool off. Um, took a little break. Uh, but once again, cut it down the middle. And then you slice that in half as well. You're gonna make little chicken cubes. Notice that there's no more frozen. Uh, it's it's cooked all the way through. <laughs> it's unthawed, I guess, for lack of better words. And we're just slicing them. If it's pink in there, you know that it's still frozen. Um, in which case, you would just cook it a little bit longer. Um, either way, whether it's boiling or if you put it on a skillet, either way, you can make sure it's cooked all the way through. But this way, I find it a lot easier. Uh huh. Turn that. Once again, just like the green peppers.
it's really nothing to it I'll be doing this in no time I won't even have to watch a video I probably should have went on and did a little bit um, beforehand but um like I said you know just squares they don't I mean you can cut them whatever size you want them to be some people like them smaller some people like them thicker um, this is my personal preference here let me pour a little bit of oil in a pan and we're basically going to do like we did in the beginning with the uh, with the vegetables except this time we're going to use chicken so it might cook a little bit longer <laughs> notice pretend you don't see my son in the background playing transformer definitely having a good time and so am I put the last of this chicken in here okay and what do we do start the flames like so it only needs to cook for about five to eight minutes tops. I like to use basil. Sometimes when I don't have onions or garlic, I might use the onion or garlic powder. But don't need that today. Sazon Goya. It's so so good. It definitely puts a Pax taste, Pax flavor. And I mean, it, it makes such a big difference in the chicken. I like to sprinkle it over and spread it out evenly and try to make sure that it's all one color if possible. Mix it in. And you know what? Let's go ahead and add the rest of it. Uh, mix it in like so. Like I said, just no more than 10 minutes you don't want the texture to cook out of your chicken you want to keep it moist and you're not frying it Just sauteing it giving it a little flavor Some people would like to jump straight to the barbecue sauce, but personally, I like to get all of the flavor I possibly can. Now that we're done with that, we just go ahead and mix the chicken in with the peppers. Make sure you get it all. And yes, doesn't that look good? It's just delicious. I can't wait till it's done. Sometimes I don't even make it all the way through. Got to eat it right then and there. But uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and add some pineapples in here. Pineapples. Oh, man. Um, it's not for everybody. I know some people don't like pineapples, but we're making barbecue chicken. I love to cook with pineapples. I also use honey barbecue sauce. Um, that's my personal preference. Some people may prefer original or hickory or honey mustard even. 
but um, I just stick to the regular honey flavored barbecue sauce. Get it all out of there. And you just mix it in. And once you mix it in, uh, let it simmer for about 10 minutes, you know, really soak up the flavor. Okay. That makes it real good. It just gets better and better and better. <laughs> and like I said, we're gonna um let it simmer for about twenty no, I'm sorry, about ten minutes. Add a little bit of hot sauce. Everything needs hot sauce. So the pineapples are nice and hot, and then once it's done, you see that that the bubbling is simmering, you know. And you can go ahead and let that heat go. Thumbs up. <laughs> it's a delectable dish, fantastically delicious. I'm serving mine over rice. Mm, look at that. I want to say thank you to SMTV for the opportunity to cook and share my dish. Savage Minds Television. That's tell a vision. And this is my vision of how to make barbecue chicken. <laughs> thank you for watching. Look at that. Mm, yes. Can't wait to sink my teeth into this wonderful meal. Ooh. Check that out. <laughs> ah. Mm. Ha. Whoo. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Savage minds.